Hence, the honorable biography of the Prophet started from Mecca. The Prophet Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim bin Abd Manaf, peace be upon him, has a great and honorable lineage. And this honorable lineage extended to Prophet Ismail, the son of Khalilullah Ibrahim. May Allah and blessings be upon all of them. I will slaughter one of them. Yes, people of Quraysh, if Allah grants me ten sons, I will slaughter one of them. Abdul Muttalib got married to four women and Allah granted him ten children. Abdullah, Prophet's father, was one of them. And then it's time to fulfill the vow. Allah willed that the choice would be on Abdullah, the Prophet's father. So Abdul Muttalib went to a fortune teller to find a ransom for himself, for the vow, and she told him to do lottery between Abdullah and the ten camels. Abdullah, Abdullah, he will be the slaughtered one. Abdullah is the slaughtered one. No, my son. My son! Abdul Muttalib started hitting the lottery between Abdullah and the ten camels. If the arrows chose Abdullah, he would increase another ten. He continued to do so until the number of the camels became one hundred. The lottery then chose the camels and they were slaughtered instead of him. Abdullah was so happy, so he said, To fulfill the happiness of this day, we will marry Abdullah to Amina. قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمْ مَنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَمَنْ يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرَ فَسَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهِ but the crisis and adversities in Mecca didn't stop on Abdullah's slaughter. It extended to the sacred house of Allah. Thus, the conflict began in Yemen to reach Mecca. Oh, minister, they say that the Arabs have a house called the sacred house of Allah. Yes, king. I am Abraha Abyssinian, the attorney general of King Negus. We built Al Qulais to be a substitute for the sacred house. But the Arabs love this house so much. I will demolish it. The decision of Abraha to demolish the Kaaba was coincided with the death of Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib, the father of the Prophet. Peace and blessings be upon him. He was intensely affected by the death of his son. The arrival of Abraha was easy because the Arabs dispersed and did not gather to fight him. So, they were heard by the enemy. Why don't Quraysh gather their allies and fight Abraha? They say that Abraha came with a strong army that the Arab couldn't have the power to face it. The army consists of 60,000 soldiers and 9 elephants. So what will you do? If the Arabs do not gather to defend the sacred house of Allah, Allah will afflict us with calamities that we could not bear. I swear by God that there is no coward or traitor here, but it is the reality that we encounter. We cannot bear Abraha's army. Thus the tribes dispersed in the fight against Abraha, and each tribe fought for itself. So he defeated them until he reached the outskirts of Mecca. He took 200 camels belonging to Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim. Abraha would not have the ability to do so until he saw the weakness in the Arab community. O oh, Master of Quraysh, I am Hubata al Himyari, the messenger of Abraha to you. What do you want? The king tells you that I did not come to fight you, but to demolish this house. Nor us. 
We don't have the ability to do so. So come with me to meet Abraha. Do not go, O master of Quraysh. Abdul Muttalib knew the power of Abraha, so he decided to go. My king, Abdul Muttalib, the master of Quraysh came to see you. Let him enter. O oh, king, I want my camels. You want your camels? I came to demolish your house, the sacred house as you call it. And you say, I want my camels? Yes, I want my camels, for I am the shepherd of these camels. What about the house? The house has a god who can protect it. Oh, Hubata, give him his camels. As you command, my lord. Now it's the time. I will destroy the Kaaba. I will destroy the Kaaba. While they were in Muhasir Valley between Muzdalifa and Mina, Nufail bin Habib came. When they directed the elephant to Mecca, he stood next to the elephant and whispered to him and said, Sit, Muhammad and return wise from where you came, for you are in the sacred land of Allah. The elephant sat down and refused to go to the Kaaba, and when they tried to direct him to the south or north, he ran away. At that time, Allah sent upon them Ababil birds, belting them with burning stones, which cut their organs off. So they ran away, rippling each other. As for Abraha, he came back in pain and his fingertips were falling off one by one. When he reached Yemen, his chest was torn from his heart and he was perished. Allah cursed him. May Allah protect this house. Praise and thanks to you. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-feel Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil Wa arsal alayhim tayran ababil Tarmihim bihijaratim min سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول Lord of the sacred house Go back to your houses safely No oppressor will dare to demolish the Kaaba 50 or 55 days after the elephant incident the messenger of God peace and blessings be upon him was born on Monday the 12th of Rabia al-Awwal Labbaik Allahumma labbaik You saved your sacred house from the tyrants So you elevated the status of the Arabs and made them proud Oh my father, my father I mean I gave birth to a son like a full moon With full light filling his face Beautiful and perfect Thus came the news of his birth, which filled the universe with light that illuminated the east and the west.